This is a video walkthrough of our Willoughby Herald. It's a 35 by 10 3 bed from 2009. It's priced at 10995 and we've got double glazing and electric plinth heaters. Give you a look around the layout and condition and everything. Um, first off, we've got this living area seating fitted around the door side and front. Bit of a sort of corner L shaped seating area, which um, no problems at all with that. And then we've also got a fitted dining area in the same upholstery. There's a gas fire, which has seen very many days and needs replacing, or the front needs replacing. We test the gas fire behind it, but you can get those fronts just on their own, so we can look at replacing that for somebody if required. But that certainly needs needs to be replaced, really. Um, on this side by the fire, we've got sort of a TV unit area with sockets and then cupboard and a couple of shelves. Turning to look this way, we've got obviously our seating area again. Um, all the windows are double glazed. Got a double glazed door coming into the lounge. There's one there and there's also one down in the hallway. So there's two exterior doors. You may choose to block that one off and just use the one that comes onto the hard flooring in the hallway. Walking towards the kitchen then, we do have a few edges um, that need a bit of repair. Like that one, for example. That's something we can do. Also a bit of wood over here, it's a bit tarnished. They're pretty common things on Willoughby Heralds actually that we quite often repair so um, that wouldn't be a problem to do. So we've got an under counter fridge there and then we've got a space above in the shelf for a uh, microwave. On the opposite side we've got our gas hob and oven. Um, a little bit rusty on the burner caps but again something we can replace. Bit of rust on the light fitting, the chrome throughout actually so this one's been by the coast but so most of the time when you've had a caravan by the coast the things like the blinds and light fittings if they are chrome or steel of some kind then they do often rust a bit but as I say it's all stuff we can replace so looking down the caravan from here you can see our oven and uh, living area there water heaters hidden behind the cupboard here so a little Morco water heater there that um, does our hot water. That runs off LPG gas and does our hot water for the bathroom in the kitchen. So walking down the hallway past our other exterior door to the back of the caravan. Looks very dark in here because we're right up against the fence at the back. So there's not much natural light whereas there is in the rest of the caravan. But as you can see we've got our double bed in here. Shelf over the top, couple of bedside shelves and cupboards. We've also I believe got a lift up bed in here uh, which... Yep, it's a lift up bed, but the arms have failed, so it needs new arms on there. I can't lift that with one arm. Um, if we stick some new uh, pneumatic arms on there, obviously that will lift up and you'll be able to put some uh, bits and pieces underneath there. There is a bit of delamination to some of the cupboard doors from the looks of it on the edges, uh, which if you've watched any of our videos before, you'll see is a fairly common thing, as you can see. It doesn't affect the use of the, cat of the cupboard, but just to point out, common um, ca uh, caravan issue really. Carpets up here in the bedroom are original and a little bit tired really. They'd be okay as we've given a clean to just continue using but really if you wanted something a little bit nicer, a bit of new carpet would uh, would be nice. Back to our hallway then, along this straight piece we've got our two twin rooms. Both of them have got a single bed and a single mattress in so you've been used as just a sleeping for one and then potentially um, a bit of storage or some extra clothes storage in each bedroom. As you can see, you could easily turn this back to a um, twin room, both two twin rooms to sleep six um, without a problem. We can supply beds and mattresses, that's okay. So other twin room here, exactly the same as that twin room. Just the highlights, people often ask what a plinth heater is. This is a plinth heater. There's one in each bedroom, it runs off electric and it basically just blows hot air out. There's a switch in here next to the mirror and that just switches it on and blows out hot air. They're pretty good at um, getting hot very quickly actually. Um, just to highlight again, the door edges, won't show you again but just assume that there's a few of them throughout the caravan, it's pretty normal. Um, so we're coming back up to our kitchen, just to highlight a um, few rusty hinges here and there. Again, being coastal I think, so um, that's to be expected into our bathroom then and you can see we've got a panel radiator there so that's a panel heater and uh, runs off the electric so you've got plinth heaters which blow hot air and that one obviously that just radiates but again that runs off electric so your gas is just doing your fire your oven and your hot water but stepping into our shower and bathroom you can see we've got a shower enclosure there 
I've got our sink and our toilet. So all fairly explanatory in there. Just giving you a swivel round and we will jump back out through the door and just show you the outside. Bit of plastic skirting around the bottom of the chassis that's uh, just left over from the decking. Hasn't had a chassis check so it needs some new legs put on there which is all stuff that we do. So don't be alarmed by it sitting on the stand there. We would change the legs on it. As you can see, you've got that wood that goes along the bottom of the chassis, if you can see along there, um, which is just where they fitted wood so they can fit the deck into it. That can all just be removed. There's no reason to keep that on there. A few lumps and bumps around the outside, like on the corner trims here. But the caravan itself, the panels themselves, look okay on the whole. And down the door side here, a little bit of a mark there. Not going to see much on the rear, I don't think, here, because it's up tight to the fence, but it looks to be okay. Um, we've got the plastic skirt in, like I said. That plastic skirt is just for the um, cover-up where the like decking and stuff has been fitted, so that can all just be taken off. We'll go around this side to try and make it a bit easier to see the chassis. So we'll always have a look. It's probably a bit rusty. Yeah, you've got some surface rust because it's a painted chassis. It's been a bit coastal, but it looks like it's been painted over time. So the structure of it looks okay. It's just that there's a fair bit of surface rust on there. Um, but I don't think there'll be any problems there. But again, that is something that we always check when we sell the caravan and do the legs. Check the chassis over, check the wheels, all that sort of stuff. So that's been our Willoughby Herald 35 by 10 3 bed from 2009. Double glaze, got electric plinth heaters and a panel heater in the bathroom. And it's 10995